Now, President Obama, as you know, has a self-imposed deadline on reforming health care. He wants legislation on his desk by October. So what do health care benefit providers think of this plan? Well, joining us right now is Michael McAllister. He's president and CEO of Humana. That's the country's second biggest provider of government-backed medical be benefits. And he comes to us from the uh, National Summit in Detroit. Mr. McAllister, good to have you on Bloomberg. Good uh, afternoon. Hi, thanks for having me. Hey, you've called President uh, Obama's plan for universal health coverage as a slippery slope toward nationalized health care. Um, why do you say that? What's your biggest concern here? Well, actually, we've been supportive of the idea of universal coverage for a long time. Uh, I've been out since 2001 talking about how health care is broken and that we have to really think about how we do this. So, you know, the big idea of getting people covered and reforming the system is something we support completely. Uh, the only uh, issue we have is some of the details, and you know, m much of that is yet to be worked out. Uh, but the slippery slope concept is really tied to the idea that the government takes a much more aggressive and intrusion, uh, intrusive point of view relative to a government plan that has the potential to disrupt 170 million people who get coverage through their employer um, or individually. Is there any kind of government-run health plan uh, that would compete with the private insurers that you would think makes sense and would work well? Well, it'll, it gets down to a real simple premise. If you set up a government competitor to the private sector and you anyway advantage that competitor by virtue of its role with the government, then clearly you've set up an environment that is not healthy long term for the people that have coverage today. So, you know, we're, we're ready and willing, and our industry and our company has made proposals to really fundamentally shift uh, the way health insurance uh, markets work. Uh, as well as some proposals around what the you know how to deal with the with the real problem and the real problem in this country is that health care costs too much and it's rising too fast and so until we address the underlying drivers you know we haven't solved anything long term now you know there are market reforms that that need to be out there people are frightened that they're going to be uninsurable at some point if should mm -hmm. they lose their job uh, or fall between the cracks in some way and there's ways to get at that through some market reform and we've made proposals along those lines but you know we're real supportive of the idea of trying to get this system rationalized are you also supportive of a kind of a compromise proposal that's out there to uh, create consumer owned cooperatives instead of a government run pr plan is that the way to go in your view or not necessarily well we'll have to look at the details of how that might operate uh, you know i think it's important for everyone to keep an open mind at this point uh, about how we might go about uh, solving these problems I think the government, I think the, the president has a lot of things correct. He does recognize that rising costs is the problem. He's a big supporter and has put money into his budget to push information technology, connectivity in health care. Mm -hmm. I'm a big believer that that is a fundamental structural thing that is critical to the long-term answer. So uh, we have a lot in common, and I think uh, it's going to be an interesting summer as we try to to come to a national consensus about what to do. It's a tough nut to crack, no doubt about that. Hey, Michael, you, you know, you guys are the second biggest provider of government-backed medical benefits in the country, right. mostly Medicare and Medicaid. The president has said he plans to ask for hundreds of millions of dollars in savings in such programs to really help pay for that expanding coverage. That's got to have a big impact on you. Well, we're certainly pay, paying attention. I think it's a little ironic that we would cut coverage to some people in order to try to produce coverage for others. So, you know, at 100,000 feet, I, I'm not real, uh, real happy about the idea. But on the other hand, uh, we've been in Medicare for many, many years, 20-some-odd mm -hmm. years. We've been in uh, Medicare Advantage. We're a big player. Uh, we're bringing an awful lot of good things to that population relative to better benefits, more health care coordination, uh, information so they can make better value purchases in health care, right. whether it be drugs or the health care itself. So I, I would argue that the Medicare program in general is is on its way to insolvency rather quickly okay uh, and that we have a big que a big question is what are you going to do with medicare and then right. the secondary question is we get how would the private sector play a role in helping with that devil's going to be in all the details on all of this mr mcallister thank you so much michael mcallister president and ceo of human